Welcome back here once again, everyone. Every time, every time these so-called industries decide to create some live action take of a famous book or video game or franchise, anything about it, we always start encountering these problems with them deciding that they're going to do things their own way. And Netflix is no better at it. Look at what Netflix did to Cowboy Bebop. The Resident Evil, well, oh God, even the country that, that, that created Resident Evil mocked them openly for, for that. The Witcher franchise, oh my God, watch that. They destroyed Witcher. Henry Cavill is gone. Blood Origins is out mess and now we're getting another update in regards to the assassin's creed live action show that it was supposed to do let's get into this article assassin's creed live action netflix series loses its showrunner i wonder why jeb stewart whose credits range from die hard to vikings valhalla joined the Netflix series in 2021. In October 2020, Netflix announced that it was teaming up with Ubisoft to make a live-action Assassin's Creed show. More than two years later, though, there's still no sign of it, and it may be a while yet before the show sees the light of day. As writer and showrunner Jeb Stewart recently told Collider, he's no longer involved. Stewart didn't say why he parted ways with Netflix on the show, but said that Collider's suggestion that it was related to a difference in vision was fair. I think it was a little bit of a move of, of executives from LA to London, and it allowed the London group who unfortunately had to inherit my vision of what it was instead of getting to develop their own vision, Stewart said. So I think that's fair. I know it's going to be a win me great whenever it comes out. I think the Ubisoft guys are fantastic. I think it's a terrific franchise. It was just a good mutual time to move on for both sides. Look, let me just be honest here about this. Eh? I mean, yes, he's going to come out and say, you know, it was a mutual thing at the front and look at it. The bottom line is they wanted to give it the Witcher treatment. That's what they wanted. They wanted to give it the Witcher treatment. And he probably had his own vision in mind of how he wanted to do it many more accurate to the games, to the source material. And that's a problem. They don't want that. They want to create their own their own their own version of whatever the hell they want, destroying yet another franchise. You understand me? And you're supposed to sit there, look at them, and just be happy and say, well, okay, that's great. But no, the showrunner for it is gone. But more than two years later, you haven't heard anything about it. Because why? They want to come up with whatever it is they want to come up with. You're supposed to love it, and that's the way it's going, that's the way it's going to go. It doesn't work. Netflix has to learn to stop this garbage. Their stock is going dull. You know, people are walking away because, because of all the crap that they keep making. And the decisions that they keep doing. They probably lost that massive chunk of um of subscribers just off of Witcher and Blood Origin alone. And now we're getting news that you know the Assassin's Creed that Assassin's Creed show that it was supposed to do. There should be sure enough that is gone. It's coming to the point where anytime you hear live action and Netflix, you already know okay, it's going to be terrible. It's just going to be terrible. That's what they're going to do. They're going to make it terrible. And you're just supposed to sit there and accept the fact that it's going to be terrible. This is the kind of crap that they want us to swallow. This is the kind of thing that they want us to, 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 to just be happy about. So that's really the only update that, that we have so far in regards to this Assassin's Creed. Um... The thing is, this, there's no update on when this series is going to come out, if it's going to come out, but the showrunner has left because, you know, um, it's fair to say that it had a difference in vision. He probably wanted to make it, um, you know, accurate to the um, to the video games, and we, 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 which, which would really make fans fantastic and enjoy it because the Assassin's Creed movie, 
we think that, 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 that they did come here like why didn't let that crap at all but we probably we probably wanted to make it more accurate to the video game so you so fans could really enjoy it and they wanted to do their own garbage so he left that's the long and short of it let me know your thoughts on this in the comments if you have a different opinion i'd love to hear it if you like the video you to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already ring the notification bell be notified every time i put out a new video and i shall see you all next day take care